People are always asking me, why is your skin so clear? Well, I try my best, but I think mostly it goes with skincare. But even without that, I think naturally my face is just the way it is. And, um, but I will share with you what I use for skincare. That is something very separate and it needs a video on its own. So I'm gonna start. Now my makeup is very, very minimal. Well, I used to hoard makeup, but I stopped and um, those were the days when I used to do the beat face. I don't know if they still use that word. I'll show you a picture somewhere here <laughs> to show you the beat face, but um, I stopped that and or rather I do the beat face when I feel like it, but it's very rare because normally every day I do something to my face and um, my makeup would fit in this bag like really that's it my whole makeup and um what's inside here is just my hair my hair stuff like hair clips and whatnot okay so let's start first i start with a mark fix spray sometimes i use this and sometimes i use this one this one is dewy and uh, the MAC, I don't know if it's dewy because I bought it recently. I just wanted to try it out and that's why it's that small travel size. But this dewy one is the one I use after I've done my makeup or even before. It gives you that, oof, that glistening in your face even when you don't put makeup. Okay, so the next thing that, the next thing that I'd like to do, I use my concealer and I put it around my eyes. At the moment, I have just concealer and eyelashes, and I've done my eyebrows a little bit, but the rest of my face is clear, and as you can see on the sides, there's no makeup. Let me rub it so that you can see. I hope you can, it's clear on the, there's no makeup on the sides, it's just around, just on the eyes, under the eyes, and, um, uh, what else do I need? Oh, for the foundation, if I have to use it. I used to use this one by Alexander, by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it's no longer in stock. So I had to get the Huda, where is it? Uh, the Huda foundation stick. I love using foundation sticks because I think they are... I don't know they're not too cakey to me and i just love how they feel on the skin and if i used it you won't see a difference like really <laughs> like i would still look the same and uh the one that i use is nutmeg i don't know if you can see my camera is not really focusing that well i'm using a point and shoot and um another thing that i would like to mention oh my nose is itchy mm. <laughs> i hate that okay um uh, another one is this anastasia beverly hill foundation it's in 570n if you're around my skin tone then probably you can try this foundation out it's really good this is a foundation that i bought first before i discovered the stick and it's not it's not that bad it's really actually very good but i just don't like the the heaviness foundation gives onto my face i i have no idea but sometimes i use it when i want to go like extra i use this as a base and then start you know doing the extreme makeup but normally i don't even use it probably i'll even throw it out because i i seriously don't use it now another thing that i'd like to to use is my powder from laura Mercier. And this powder is so amazing it's very fine and oof i love it so much oh, it's so powdery i love this white one i used to have the buttercup i still have it it's somewhere here the buttercup it's too heavy to my liking and i don't like the way it photographs or the way you like see it in pictures i don't understand probably i'm not using it correctly but this one is really amazing i love how lightweight it is and yes so the brushes i need to mention the brushes that i use so, so i use this brush to apply and i'm not so good in makeup so i sometimes pick any brush that i find is not that one that one is too big i look normally i use this is how you know i'm not a makeup artist i use something like this something very you know dome shaped and that's what i use very minimal to apply on my makeup so and uh, for the foundation i forgot to say i always use this brush 
here that I got from Bare Minerals. I don't know if they have it still. And uh, it's called Buff and Go. It's really good. I love how it applies. And I've had this, I bought it in Germany many years ago many years ago so i'm pretty sure maybe it's still it's still they still have it okay another thing that i like to do uh is the lashes not every day though i use the lashes uh these lashes if i have to use them uh it's the adele 120 they are very natural they give you the natural look the natural feel they're not heavy and they're very you can use them so many times that's what i love like i could i could use a pair for a long time i even forget and i'm like oh my goodness how long have i been using these lashes until they start losing shape that's when i stop but you get so much use from these and they're not expensive i don't know how much but they're not expensive. These are the lashes if you're a lash girl. Now, if you don't like to put on lashes, I found this mascara from h and I don't know where it is. <laughs> now, this mascara is just the best. It's called Monsieur Big. Uh, it was introduced to me by a lady, a French lady, actually. She was working at Sephora and we spoke French, so it was amazing. Now, she... Uh, she recommended this for me and it does wonders probably i need to do a tutorial so that you can see how my lashes my my lashes are barely there but when i put this on it's magic so if you've been looking for a lash um, a mascara um this is really really good she actually told her no i'm gonna buy a small one because i don't trust um lashes these uh mascaras these days um another one that i used to buy but i didn't find it was this bang uh, it's called bad gal bad gal bang this one is also good it does wonders okay on to the next for my eyebrows i like to use this too this one i bought it in germany so i don't think it's no longer there it's maybelline and um i love how thick it is and i use it for my eyebrows although there's another eyebrow pencil that i have that i use also and yeah another thing okay makeup brow for the you know to lay the lashes so that they they just not all over the place this is what i use and i also bought it in germany <laughs> in their drugstore i think this is their drugstore brand and i love it so yeah on my lips i use well that's a different story but at the moment what i have on is these three morphe lip gloss and the butter gloss from nyx with um you know the, the the lip pencil this is just absolutely fabulous together the three of them they just blend so well and give you a, a nice color i think it's gone down because oh, i've been recording a tiktok video so <laughs> i've been um i mean I don't know what to say anyway sometimes i like to use that i can put it in here and just lip gloss from uh, fenty beauty Ooh, what's the name of it i think it's in my bag it's always in my bag because i love that lip gloss and um for the reds now when i want to go like very drama dramatic when i want that deep red i always go for um, well, I have three reds here that I love. I have this Kylie, the one from Kylie Jenner. It's called uh, Mary Jo K. Oh my God, I don't know if they've discontinued this, but this lipstick is amazing and the way it smells, absolutely amazing. Wow, it's just, it's actually my favorite and I can't believe I'm saying it's my favorite. Well, probably the one from MAC tops it. Um, let me see the red one. Now, uh, I use Ooh, ruby woo the you know the red mac lipstick oh, this is a classic this is something that you need in your makeup here i think it's very it's a very good red if you want to have that sometimes you're wearing outfits like if you're wearing black 
and you put on a red lipstick you just look bomb and another lipstick that i have also from mac is called candy yum yum and i love this lipstick i don't know why the camera is not showing the true colors but this color i love it and uh for me what i do i just dab in the middle because these can make you look clowny if you just put it on like that so make sure you use a pencil first before applying and if you have lips like mine because my lips are dark here and lighter here you can just dab where there's light there's um brighter and then put on a lip gloss oh my goodness absolutely amazing i love it and then we have this one from fenty beauty this lipstick had gone crazy i think uh, what was it called when it came out i remember that time stana lip paint I don't know if you can even see because the readings are very they're very small this one is really good i love it but not as much it's not something that i would buy again something i would buy again is the kylie jenner and i don't know because i love rihanna <laughs> <gasps> the Kylie Jenner one I'll have to buy it again or the Ruby Woo by Mac so those are basically what I use oh and I forgot to mention for my um, lash glue I use the um, duo this one <coughs> excuse me this one I think is good it uh, stays on longer and I find it to be amazing I've tried so many l lash glues and I found that uh, this one is just absolutely it stays on well and uh, yeah so with my lashes it's about practice because that's an area that is not uh, very it's, it's it's not a strong suit of mine as a uh, I would say now another thing that i love to go crazy on is uh these lashes here by lily galici i used to buy her lashes when i lived in germany but these ones i got much recently and uh yeah when i want to go extra <clears throat> then i like using her lashes her lashes are long lasting if you're looking for dramatic lashes you need to go to Lily Galici like you can use them like for long they're kind of like Adele so yeah I think that's it and I'll talk to you in the next one bye bye